So here's our user story. As a developer, I want to increase my skills in DevOps so that I can make my life as a developer easier. Let's do that. Hey, I'm Will Button from DevOps for Developers, and today I'm talking about as a developer, what are the skills that you need to start doing DevOps stuff and possibly either, well, for a couple of reasons, you could do it just to make your life as a developer easier, or it could be that you're trying to go from the developer path into a more DevOps style role, but you need to have the right skills in order to do that. So we're going to talk about that today. Um, first and foremost, the number one skill you need is communication, right? And you don't need a course to do that. You've just got to start asking questions. And I say that a lot, and I think people kind of blow me off on it because it sounds kind of hand wavy, but really it is so absolutely important to understand communication and just be able to find the difference between what people say and what people meant to say. And as a developer, you can relate to this because I'm sure you've had ex um, experiences where someone has given you a set of uh, a framework or um, a set of mock-ups for an application to build and you build it and give it to them and then they come back asking for something different and i always considered like one of the things i've, I've done is i consider version 1.0 of a software to be the place where we learned the difference between what the customer asked for and what the customer meant to ask for so that's communication in a nutshell, but I know that's not what you're here looking for. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the technical skills that you need. You need to have a really strong foundation in Linux administration or Windows administration. Although I, I tend to lean more heavily on Linux, Linux administration in a DevOps style environment. Now there's DevOps stuff that goes on over in the Windows world. I'm just not really that familiar with it and it's not as commonplace in the areas where I work as the Linux skills. So let's talk about Linux skills. You need to have like a good solid foundation on Linux system administration. You know, things like um, what are the services? What is a service? Which services do you need? How do you create, start, stop services? How do you build a Linux server from scratch? And how do you know if that thing's operating like it's supposed to? You know, all of those things are just fundamental skills that sysadmins have and the things that they do every day. And it's important in the world of DevOps because you're, as the DevOps person, you're that bridge between getting the code from the developer's workstation into production. And a lot of the times you're the person who's got your finger on the pulse in production and need to know when it's operating correctly and when it's not operating correctly, how to scale it out, how to scale it back in, different things like that. There's also some not so glamorous sides to this, like doing backups, checking file systems to make sure the file systems aren't full, rotating logs, and all kinds of tasks like that that get overlooked if you don't know to go look for them until they actually blow up and cause a production outage. Can't tell you how many production outages I've been on throughout the 25 years of my career that were caused because, because a server ran out of disk space. And it's just because, you know, nobody thought to go look for that before that happened. So recently Google opened up this Google certification program and there's one actually in there for IT support. I've taken a look at it and it looks to be a really good foundation for adding um, sysadmin style skills to your resume. So go check out the Google certification. What's it called here? Google IT certificates and it's 100% remote, but they cover all of the different skills that you need like um, troubleshooting, networking, operating systems, system administration, security, all of the things that you need to know as a DevOps engineer to op build and operate and maintain code in production. There's also a follow-on certificate or a follow-on program, which I don't care if you get the certificate or not. If that makes you happy, sure, go for it. The important thing to me is that you get the skills. 
Um, the skills are more important than the certificate in my opinion. But there's a follow on course to this as well, IT automation with Python. And that's really cool and gonna be really helpful for you as a DevOps engineer because you're gonna start doing these tasks and then as the number of servers that you operate and maintain grows, you're gonna to start to think this sucks. And logging on to all of these servers is a pain in the ass, but as a developer, you're gonna be asking yourself, can't I automate this? And Python is a great way to get into that because every Linux server on the face of the earth has a Python runtime on it. And so you know that you can write Python code and execute it on any server and take care of a lot of these routine mundane tasks that you're responsible for now via automation and writing code, which gives you scalability and faster response times. So in summary, I think that's where you want to start. Uh, as a developer looking to add DevOps skills to your resume or to your skill set, don't overlook communication. Don't think that it's not important. It's the most important one, but you need those Linux skills as well. And these new courses from Google and Coursera on IC support are going to be a great way for you to get those fundamental skills that you need to succeed. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos when I make them on DevOps for developers. And I'll see y'all next time.